Hello everybody and welcome back to Inger's Pink World. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're doing good. Well, I say tonight, evening. Today is Friday. Yeah, today is Friday. Um, June 11th. <laughs> today is June 11th. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today won't be a very long video, but it will be a short and sweet video. Um, and it will be pertaining to something that's really, really important. Um, some things have been brought to my attention. Well, some, some people have brought some things to my attention. Um, and it's about um, women of all ages and young girls and the friendships that they develop and the friendships that they have. Um, and friendships are important um, when you're growing up and friendships are important when you are an adult. A lot of times though, when you're a teenager or you're a preteen, friendships can be tricky. Friendships can even be tricky as an adult, you know, um, you, you go through this phase of a life where people that you thought were your friends are not, or they're just not a good friend. Um, and you know, it's harder on young girls, I think, and on preteens because, and even sometimes on regular adults. I mean, if you really grow to love somebody and then that person turns out not to be who you thought they were, um, and they kind of just turn into somebody that you don't know overnight, that's a hurtful feeling. Um, especially if it's somebody that you've loved and you've grown to love and you have shared special times and, you know, you've had memories with this person. Um, but what I would say is real friends will always be there. You can live a trillion miles away from each other. You don't even necessarily have to talk to each other every day, but when things get serious and you really need somebody, they're there. That's a real friend. Um, I have very few of those and I can count them on one hand, but the ones that I do have proven to be very good friends. And that's not to say that you won't go through things because we're all human at the end of the day. We all have feelings and we all go through things. But um, <clears throat> this is more so targeted to the younger girls, preteen and teen, because um, that can be a hard time in life. You're growing physically, mentally, emotionally, and hopefully spiritually. And it's very hard sometimes to pick friends at a young age. But I will say this. When people are your true friend at any age, they're never going to deliberately hurt you and hurt your feelings. They're never going to do anything to deliberately hurt you ever because all they really want is your best interest at heart. All they want is for you to be happy. All they want is to just see you happy. And that's that's all through life, you know. Um, I personally cannot think of a friend that I have that I don't want them to be happy and I want happy things to happen for them. I just want their overall life to be what they want it to be. And um, I wish everybody that I know and love nothing but happiness and peace and joy in their life. So what I would say to young girls from age 12 to 17 if you have some friends in your life and in your inner circle and you don't like the way they're treating you, they're not being nice to you, they're giggling behind your back with other girls, they're peeking at you, or they genuinely just never really have anything nice to say to you, yet they call you their friend, 
I have a message for you today. They're not your friend. Real friends won't laugh at you. They won't giggle at you. They won't hurt your feelings. They won't call you names. They won't do anything that's going to hurt your feelings because they genuinely love you and they don't want you to be hurt. So girls from the age of 12 to 17 and even all through your life when you become an adult lady, choose and pick your friends wisely. Because in this life, you will come across people that pretend to be one thing and they are another. And that's really through your whole life, but it's just really hard when you're in high school and when you're in middle school. Because who doesn't want to be liked in school? Everybody wants to be liked. Everybody wants to have friends. You want to have people you can eat lunch with. You want to have people that you can do after school activities with. You just want to, you want to be friends with people. That's a normal way of life. But in today's world, a lot of girls are what they call the mean girls. They're mean for no reason. They're ugly to you for no reason. They talk about you for no reason. They talk behind your back for no reason. And, you know, it's not a good thing. And it's not something that you should deal with. So I would say to girls 12 through 17 and older, pick and choose your friends wisely. Don't call somebody, don't be so quick to call somebody a friend, number one, because everybody's not going to be your friend. And people lose that they use the term friend very loosely. Oh, that's my best friend. Oh, that's my really close friend. Everybody's not going to be your friend. And the way you become a best friend and a really good friend is you're loyal to that person. By loyal, I mean your loyalty says, this is my friend. I love her or him to death. I'm never going to say or do anything to harm them. I'm never going to say or do anything to hurt their feelings. And that's not to say that sometimes we don't say things we shouldn't say because once again, we're human. And as humans, we make mistakes and I get it. And so you may, sometimes you get mad at your friends or they get mad at you. We're all humans. That's natural. But <clears throat> it's not good when you're in tears more than you're smiling and having a good time about this person. If this person makes you cry, more than they make you smile, they're not a friend, okay? And that, I wanted to get that message out today. So if all this person does is makes you feel bad and makes you cry and says things to you that you know deep down in your heart is not right and it's downright mean, let that person go. Don't be friends with that person. No matter how it makes you feel, I promise you in the long run, you'll feel a whole lot better that you let that person go. And it's not easy. It's not easy to let friends go, especially people that you really truly love, that you've grown a beautiful friendship with this person. You have a bond with this person. But if this person is somebody who's toxic, and for the young people by toxic, I mean, they're just not a good person to be around. They bring bad energy and bad vibes around you let them go okay let them go um because the crying and the being in pain and having your heart hurt because somebody else is just mean and they don't want to be nice to you they're not worth being in your life and they shouldn't be in your life because there's too many people out here that will love you for you love everything about you and not give you the drama Okay, that the other person is giving you. So I can honestly speak on that because I'm way older, you know, and I've been through it all. So, yeah, real friends will stand the test of time. 
your real friends will be around no matter what. And that's not to say that you won't have issues with your real friends because once again, we are all human beings, which means we are all prone to make mistakes. But the big, the big thing in a friendship is being able to talk to your friend and say, hey, I don't like what you said. It made me feel bad. Um, you know, I cried for two days. That's not fair to me. If you don't like me or you don't want to be with me, then just tell me so I can be gone on my merry way and my feelings don't have to be hurt anymore. That's what you say, even in high school. Hey, if you don't like me, this is cool. This is a big world. Find somebody that you do like, but don't abuse me. Just leave me alone, right? So I felt the need to give this message today because there are a lot of teenage girls and a lot of, um, you know, middle school girls that are going through these problems in school and just trying to be friends with girls who want to be mean girls. And just, you know, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, my allergies and my asthma. Um, just know that it's not okay for somebody to treat you wrong. It's not okay for somebody to treat you bad. That's not okay. That's never okay. Um, and you know how you want to be treated. And you know what you're supposed to do when it comes to treating somebody right. And I'll give you an example. If you're somebody who, oh, I love my friend and you do everything for your friend. And, you know, you always put your friend's feelings first and you say, well, you know what? I'm not going to go to the mall without my friend. I'm going to call and see if she wants to go with me. Maybe she wants to go. Then you're a good friend because that shows that you're thinking of somebody else besides yourself. But if you have, if you do all of that for your friend and then she never calls you and says, well, hey, so-and-so and you want to go out? I'm getting ready to go out today. You want to go with me or hey, I'm about to go grab a burger. You want to go with me and grab a burger? Or just calls you on the phone and says, hey, I just miss you. I want to talk to you. Just has a nice conversation with you. That's a person that's showing you she wants to be friends with you. Not somebody who'll call you up and say, well, I know you're having a dinner on Friday night and I know I said I was going to come, but I'm not coming. Um, I got something else to do. Or uh, I'm having something more important than your dinner going on at my house so i'll see you when i see you you know nonchalant attitudes like that those type of attitudes start at very early ages and they can end at very late ages so as a woman you got to just pick and choose who you're going to tolerate foolishness off of and you got to start at an early age unfortunately so all you young girls out here, do not let anybody abuse you mentally, physically, or emotionally because they're not worth it. So you either want to be my friend or you don't. You either want to treat me with respect or you don't. Um, and that's that. It's, it's, it's simple as that. Like I said, it may not always be easy as that because you have feelings, you love this person, you don't understand why this person is saying and doing the things they're doing. Believe me, I understand. I've been there, done that. But I'm a, I'm, I'm at the age now where I know who my real friends are. You know, I, I know that even my, my beautiful friends that I've had issues with in the past, we love each other. We fixed it. We talked it out. We're just working on us now, you know? They're real friends. I can call them and say, hey, I haven't talked to you in three days. Just want to call you and tell you I love you. I can send a text message that says that. They'll send a text message back. Hey, I love you too. That's a real friend. Real friends are always going to be there for you. They're going to go through the bad times with you and they're going to go through the good times with you. People that constantly turn their backs on you and they're never there for you are not supposed to be in your life. And sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow. But you need to swallow it and get on with your life. That's my recommendation for young girls in middle school and in high school, you know. And always be nice. Always be kind to people, you know. Don't let other people 
make you have a bad attitude. Don't ever do that, you know. Um, even as an adult, I've managed to always just be anger, you know. It's like, okay, I might have done a few things for you to help you when you were in a bad situation and we fall out about something later on and you want to pretend like I don't exist. I'm good with that. That's fine. You know why? Because I'm looking for my blessings to come from God, not of the human beings. So you don't want to like me anymore. You don't have to like me anymore. I'm okay with that, you know? Um, but like I said, I'm a lot older and I've, it's been a trillion years since I've been in high school or middle school. And I can only imagine what these kids go through nowadays. Um, but they, they've always had mean girls. Mean girls have always been around. They always had the popular girls in school who just thought they were better than anybody else on the planet. They just wake up thinking, oh, I'm just, god's gift today <laughs> and it's okay that they feel that way about themselves but it's not okay for them to treat other people bad because they want to they feel like they want to make other people feel bad so they can make themselves feel good you ever heard that term um people they they say things and they and they do things that are ugly and they do it so that they make themselves look better than what they actually are so I would just say to the young girls, and I have I have young cousins, <clears throat> and you know they're going to middle school and high school, and I would just say to all my younger cousins that are girls, because I don't think boys go through some of the stuff that girls do. You know, I can only speak for the girls. Um, choose your friends wisely, okay? Be very very picky with people that you call a friend. Be even more picky if you're calling them a best friend. Because a best friend has more responsibilities to live up to than a regular friend, okay? So just remember, everybody's not your friend. Even people that say they're your friend. When you tell me you're my friend, I'm gonna go off how you treat me. That's it. You need to go off of how people treat you. You know in your heart if somebody's being ugly to you. You know in your heart if somebody's talking to you like, you know, talking about you to other girls and badly. You know if somebody's picking at you about the way you dress or the way you look. Or if your hair is funny, you know, because girls will be real catty. You know, if you're a woman, you know this. Girls will just be catty. Um, listen, this pandemic that we've had, the COVID-19 should have showed the world that life is not promised to you tomorrow. You're here on Monday, you're going on Tuesday. So if anything, it should have made a lot of people a little more humble and want to treat people a little better. Because death is real. That's the only way I know how to put that. So, that's my message for this week's video. You know, it was brought to my attention that a couple of girls reached out to me, as a matter of fact, teenagers. Um, I guess some of the girls had been watching my sit-down videos, you know, about love and boyfriends and, you know, stuff like that. And I, I enjoy having these conversations. It opens up, you know... Um, conversations for people to have and to talk about their feelings and talk about things that they've gone through as children and adults, you know, and it's been, like I said, it's been a gazillion years since I've been in school. So, but I, I know that it's probably just a little worse now <laughs> in today's times than it was in mine, but there are some things that don't change. And that is no matter what a person is doing, um, as far as being in a friendship, you can always cut it off. You know, you can always just say, well, I don't have to be friends with you. You know, there are a million people out here. Somebody's going to like me. Somebody's going to like the way I dress. Somebody's going to like the way I do my hair. Somebody's going to like my attitude. Somebody's going to like the fact that I'm a loving and giving person. And somebody's going to like the fact that I think about them as, you know, I would think about myself and I, I will put their feelings 
first like I would put my own feelings. So you definitely want a person that's giving you what you're giving them. That's the best way to put that. You want to have friends in your life that give you what you give them. And if you're giving them your best of everything, you're being the best of friend, you're loyal, you're honest, you're kind, you're everything that a friend wants in a friend, and you're not getting that in return, it's time to find new friends. That's the best advice I can give you as a, as a grown woman who's gone through that, you know, years ago. Find friends that are really going to be friends, okay? And <clears throat> I have two girlfriends that I was in high school with, and I loved both of them to death. And I hope they find me on YouTube. At that time, neither one of them were married. Um, and I think they both have been married now and they both have kids. But I've been searching high and low for both of them because we were a kum boom buddies in high school. That was Michelle Lynn Williams and Tanya Jones. And I do believe Tanya got married and her last name changed to Jackson. And Michelle got married and her last name, last I know, changed to Streety. Hadn't been able to find either one of them. I'm 52 years old now and I have not been able to find either one of them. We were in high school together. Oh, gosh. Maybe we were 14 on through. 14 on through, like 18 or something like that. Until I left and moved to Seoul, Korea. So... They were my two best friends in high school. I loved them to pieces. And they were down to earth, beautiful girls then, as far as beautiful on the inside. So I know they just turned out to be beautiful women. And I would give anything to find those two and just chalk it up. <laughs> but um, with that said, um, pick your friend, pick your friends wisely. Picky, be very, very picky with your friends. And then when you find an inner circle that you love and they love you, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I've been a part of a circle that I just cherished, you know. And um, the pandemic kind of tore us apart because we weren't able to get back out and do things the way we used to do before the pandemic kind of started, you know, but now we're, we're vaccinated and stuff. So maybe now we can start to do things, but you know, I was a part of a friend circle for a long time, just last five or six years. And it was four of us and it was a beautiful friendship for me. It really was I, beautiful. And I still love them all till today. You know, I do. I love them all. Um, and then I have two really good friends. One is in Florida. Shout out to Angelisa. We've been friends for over 30 years. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman. And she has been more like a sister to me than a friend. Jamila Stretch. Shout out to Jamila, South Carolina. More like a sister to me than a friend. So those are women that I know I can always count on. You know what I mean? Um, and my beautiful friend circle here where I live. They know who they are. I can always count on them and they can always count on me. So I would just say for young girls, pick and choose. Be very, very choosy when it comes to friends. Don't use the word friend loosely because it takes a lot to be a friend. It takes a lot to be a good friend and it just takes the world to be a best friend. You know, it takes you going through things together, good and bad times holding hands, crying together, laughing together, the whole nine. You know, and if you can do all that with somebody, then you got you somebody. <laughs> so, but anyway, I just wanted to get that. That was the video that I wanted to do um, this segment because I think it's very important to talk about these things. You know, a lot of teenage girls and a lot of young girls in middle school and high school are just really going through it, you know, you're already growing in so many different ways. And sometimes you're just trying to find your place in life and you're trying to find out where you fit in 
and who you fit in with. And a lot of times people make that very hard for you. And it shouldn't be. It should not be girls going to school, not wanting to go to school because people are treating them badly, you know? So, um, and you shouldn't, you know, be in high school and middle school and have somebody that you call your best friend, but she won't even call you on the phone or she won't help you with your homework or she's never there for you or she doesn't want to come to your parties or she doesn't want to go out to eat dinner with you. Or when you text her, she never texts you back. Or if she does text you back, she texts you back something ugly. That's not good. And she's not a friend. So be mindful of how you treat people. And if you're giving good treatment, you want to receive good treatment back. And only be around people that are giving you the good treatment back. Okay? That's my message for young girls today. Be a good person, give out good vibes, uh, have good vibes around you and give out what you want to receive back. That's, that's my advice. Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for tonight. I love you. Um, you know what to do. Young and old and middle aged, whatever you are, drink water, eat your vegetables and take vitamins and get some exercise in because health is everything. You need to be healthy for all your loved ones, friends, family, everybody. Stay healthy, okay? You know I'm going to be working on some content for you next week, but I had to get this in tonight because this was an important subject. All right, so I love you, and I will get with y'all next week. Bye.